Welcome to the first segment of vocabulary. This has been a passion project of mine for quite a long time, and I want to bring you archery terms and define them so that you can have a broader vocabulary. We're going to definitely have some appropriate technical terms, but we may even dive into some slang terms down the road. However, the first one I want to talk about, because it's one of the ones that I got wrong the most and the one I hear wrong quite often too, is spine, relating to aerospine. So what is aerospine? Aerospine is defined as an aeroshaft stiffness or flexibility indicated by a number where lower numbers, for example, 300 means stiffer and higher numbers, for example, 500 means weaker or more flexible. It's crucial for accuracy because the arrow must bend correctly, that is dynamic spine, as it leaves the bow to fly straight, requiring stiffer arrows for higher draw weights and softer spines for lighter weights matched correctly with point weights and draw weights. It is measured using a spine deflection machine that measures the arrow's flex by supporting it at 28 inches and then adding 880 grams of weight to the center and measuring the flex. Ta-da, spine checker. This is a machine that you will buy once in your life and play with it once in your life and then never play with it again. Unless all of your labels have been worn off your arrow shafts and then you gotta check them. Other than that, trust the arrow manufacturers. They laser that number on there for you and it's a lot easier to use. However, this is a spine deflection machine. It's pretty cool. Um, as I said, 28 inches is the span of an arrow. So you get an arrow shaft, you're gonna have it supported at 28 inches, and then you're gonna have 880 grams right there in the middle. And bam, when that weight is dropped on there, that arrow flexes and yep, it's a 260 spine arrow. That's what happens. So. As that bends, it's gonna show that flex and that flex is gonna be your spine number. So a stiffer number with most arrow shafts, by the way, this is how it should be done. Some places have done this the backwards way. If it's a trusted arrow company, then you can trust that the lower numbers mean stiffer. It's less flex higher numbers are gonna be weaker because there's more flex. So check this out. Let me slide this in here and I will drop the weight and bam, look at that. What do we got? 500, this is one of Sharon's arrows. So if you got one of mine, you got one of Sharon's. How is that relative? So what does spine really mean? Think of it like this. Spine is like our spine. If you have 100 pounds in a backpack, you need a stiffer spine to support that. If you've got 40 pounds in a backpack, honestly, you can kind of get away with almost any backpack. But definitely a backpack that fits you is gonna be better. Another way I've described it to people is like, imagine pole vaulting. If Sharon was gonna go pole vaulting, she would need that pole to be able to bend before it propelled her over that bar, right? If she took my arrow and her little body, all that's gonna happen is that thing's gonna stay straight and she's gonna go like that. There's gonna be no bend to it because she doesn't have enough weight to bend that. The weight is gonna be the draw force and the draw length and how much weight you have in the front of that arrow. That all affects spine. More arrow in the front, the more it's gonna flex. Here's where it gets weird. The more weight you put in the back, that weight actually gets absorbed by the thrust, so it's not technically affected the same. But draw poundage, draw length, those are all, draw length is power stroke, weight obviously is force, 
point weight is a big mass sitting here while there's pressure put on the back. So that's why spine, no L in it, no spline. Don't say spline to me anymore if you come up to me, if you've watched this. Spine is the stiffness or the flexibility of that arrow shaft. It's got to match the forces that you're putting in play. And when it does, you get bullet holes, you get 12 rings, and you get notch tags. But thanks for coming to the first segment of your free archery education and vocabulary.